What's going on, guys? It's me, JV, coming to you live this Thursday morning. Today is the first day of August. Happy start to the month. August 1st, 2024. And let me take you back to 1998. I remember 1998 vividly as though it was yesterday. This happened in the month of November. And I remember I was in college. I was attending community a community college back then and during the um, afternoons slash evenings I was working part-time uh, for uh, Costco I was working with Costco as a uh, uh, door greeter so basically what I was doing back then I was um, I would stand in the door and make sure that uh, you know, the Costco members had their card and I was keeping track of how many people or how many uh, members were coming in per hour. And so that was in the entrance, door entrance. And then when people were coming out, I would I basically just make sure that all of the items that they had on their carts uh, matched the uh, matched the, uh, the receipt. So basically I was working there um on co- at, at Costco and I remember one night uh it was pretty uh pretty uh foggy I was driving uh back then I was driving a a four cylinder 1997 Toyota Tercel and I had just uh, bought that car or actually leased the car uh, a year prior that was my first car ever I was about 17 years old when I got it in 96 and about 2 years later actually um, or two years before I had bought the card so like I typically did I drove back from uh, my place of work to the place where I was staying at the time and I remember like I mentioned it was a very foggy day so I just got inside my car started driving got on the freeway and uh, I was driving in the slow lane and all of a sudden I was going pretty fast too. I was going about 80 miles an hour. Um, so I'm not very proud t- about that. I was, you know, as I mentioned, I was only 19 years old at the time. So as you guys are very familiar, everybody has gone through that phase in their lives when they were, when we were young and dumb. And I was definitely young and dumb back then. And so I was going about 80 miles an hour on the slow lane. And all of a sudden, on the left side of my, uh, my view, I see this uh, black trailblazer, this Chevy trailblazer, just zooming, just going crazy, just driving even faster than I was. And the guy tried to merge into my lane. He he did, but in the uh, in the process of merging into my lane, the uh, rear right side of of his trailblazer hit my upper left side of my uh, Toyota Tercel and immediately that uh, you know as I was trying to get control of the steering wheel that immediately threw my car off completely I spun around basically not that I didn't roll over but I spun around like two times before the uh, the chassis of the car the uh, the trunk of the vehicle basically just slammed into the uh, center divider, the concrete center divider, and my car ultimately uh, ended up facing the incoming traffic on the freeway. And so, when I got out of the car, I was—I probably shouldn't have gone out of the car because there was a bunch of cars coming in my direction. I was completely petrified. I was scared to death. I thought that my life was going to crumble forever. When I came out of the car, I noticed that the uh, back of my vehicle was completely, completely crushed. It was just the entire trunk was totally crushed. The uh, airbags on the uh, steering wheel were released. Uh, Luckily for me, my face didn't slam against the uh, airbags. And when I got out, I was completely intact, if you can believe that didn't even suffer a scratch nothing happened to me and as I was looking to my left as I was turning to my left I noticed that the uh, 
black Chevy Trailblazer that had caused my accident was uh, belly up. It was upside down. It had rolled over. And uh, fortunately, nobody got killed. I don't know how their injuries were for the other drivers or passengers. I never really found out how many people were inside of the truck. Maybe I did at the time. Maybe I didn't know how many there were at the time. But right now, I don't remember. I don't recall how many uh, people were inside of that truck. All I remember was that uh, immediately the cops came in, CHP. I'm actually located in California, so it was a California Highway Patrol uh, vehicle that came in. I filed a police report. I basically told him my story of how the accident occurred. There, were, there was a couple of witnesses also that were interviewed by the cops. And as it turned out, they were... Uh, when we got the police report a couple of days later, or it might have been about a week later, it turned out that they were at fault. Uh, they were uh, basically labeled as the uh, party that was at fault that caused the accident. And uh, I consider myself a very, very lucky man. I don't think I've ever been closer to death in my entire life that on that particular night. Um, subsequently, I lost my vehicle. It was totaled. Uh, the insurance of the other driver, actually, they were, which was AAA, they pretty much paid my the balance of my vehicle, what I owed. I attended a chiropractor at once a week because I had whiplash because of the impact of the of the accident. But by and large, I mean, I was doing extremely well uh, physically, health wise. Nothing really happened to me. And uh, to this day, I still can't believe that I got off. You know, knowing how cr destroyed the vehicle was after the impact, knowing how completely crushed it was, I probably should have, I consider myself very lucky. I probably should have had some, some sort of an injury or even a major injury or God forbid, could have been killed on that accident. But luckily for me, I think that, uh, you know, God wanted me to continue on with this physical uh, life that I currently have. And so that is, I think, the moral of the story. And the question that I, that I ask is, you know, is it possible that we, like cats, is it possible that we have multiple lives on this earth in this physical realm that we live in? Because, you know, sometimes I do uh, wonder that and ponder that question when I see other people going through the same um, catastrophic events that they might have, and luckily for them, they come out unscathed. They basically survive those traumatic uh, experiences. And so the question that I ponder and that, and that I pose is that, you know, whether or not we have multiple lives on this earth or whether or not destiny just simply did not want to take us away from 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 um, from this earth into the uh, spiritual world, or wherever it is that we wind up going after our physical body uh, ceases to function. Um, but um, yeah, I was I, I just wanted to share this story. I don't think I've ever shared this story on YouTube. I've had this uh, channel for about three years, and I think this is the first time that I've talked about this. But uh, you know, as I was uh, working out this morning at the gym, I it just triggered in my mind that that incident, that accident that I had, and I wanted to sh share it with you guys. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a question that I that I ponder, and I think it's the most important, single most important question, and in, in our existence, you know, what happens once we uh, we perish? What 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 happens once we we die? Where do we go? Uh, and and stuff like that. But um, thank you so much for watching the video. Just wanted to share the story. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope God blesses you. And if you don't believe in God, that's okay. I hope you uh, are, uh, you know, have a wonderful day, a wonderful rest of the week. And I will talk to you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. If this is the first time coming across my, my channel or this is the first video that you've watched, I would really appreciate it if you can support me 
on this journey. Thank you very much. God bless.